Welcome to Richardson, Texas, uh, Elite Therapy Solutions. Today we're going to talk about growing pains in kids. Uh, everybody has parents that tells them, oh my gosh, you're hurting, it's growing pains, don't worry about it. We're going to look at certain areas of the body that are affected by growing. The problem is the, the bones grow first, the muscles have to catch up with them, and it can cause all kinds of problems with your body. We're going to be looking at Sievert's disease, which is down the heel. Hodgkin's slaughters, Dina tibia, uh, Larson Johansson's disease, which is at the end of the kneecap, uh, patellofemoral syndrome, which is all around the kneecap, uh, pophysitis, which is at the top of the tibia, as well as the hip, and uh, avulsion of the ASIS. And I'm going to move the camera now. We're going to get closer and go over each one. Okay, when your body grows too fast, certain things happen to it. There's adverse stresses put on it. Especially you'll see this with girls 8 to 9, 10 years old, somewhere around there with boys that are usually 11, 12, 13 years old. The girls in the lower body will have problems usually through 14 to 15, sometimes 16 years old. The males can have it all the way through their early 20s because they have it they grow slower. Uh, we'll start at the feet. First thing we look for is Seaver disease. Kid runs down the field, his, his heels ache has trouble walking after the game on his heels. Uh, we have to differentiate that between that, let's do this, that and the Achilles tendon, which is right here. And here's where you feel for Seaver's disease. You squeeze the heel on each side. If there's pretty good pain or even a little pain, um, it's a good sign of Seaver's disease. Later on, I'll break down each one of these problems and tell you how to treat them. Now the next thing we look for is Oshkin slaughters. We look at the end of the patella, the kneecap. And then where it attaches to the tibia, the big bone here, there's a little knot. And you can feel how she, uh, she had a little Oshkin slaughters when she was younger in this knee and in that knee. So she may or may not have had pain. There's a good place to look for it. Sometimes you get a big knot here. And unfortunately, I've never seen these knots go away as a, as a kid's age. Uh, there's things we use to treat that. The next thing we look at is patellofemoral syndrome. The patellofemoral syndrome is when the, when the muscles they look like they recede up the leg because the bones grow faster than the muscles. And by doing that, the kneecap drags up into the outside. Connective tissue on the inside of the knee, the medial renaculum, it sits right here. It'll start ripping that. The kneecap will start dragging along the lateral femoral ridge of the femur, the big bone up here. And then the, the kneecap will also irritate the patella tendon right at the end of the kneecap. And everything moves up into the outside. There's also a very good tape job for that. Uh, there's also the, the Johansson's, the Larson's, the Larson's Johansson's disease, and that's the growth plate actually on inside the kneecap will get inflamed, and I've seen this a few times, and it's, the pain is excruciating right at the end of the kneecap. Uh, the next thing we look for is apophysitis. Apophysitis can be on any growth plate in the body, uh, but it commonly at the heel called Seaver disease. You can find it at the, the uh, top of the tibia, and you can find it at the uh, ilium, or your hip bone. To, to test the ilium, you squeeze the hip bone, and it elicits pain, uh, apophysize the hip. The other thing you look for, the, the front of the hip bone, where it sticks out, sometimes you can get, uh, when the girls get it, it's usually uh, not a traumatic event, it's, it's a it's an overuse injury, and the it'll get a piece of tendon or bone will get avulsed from the ASIS or the front of the hip bone. Uh, the, with the boys, it's usually a traumatic event where the leg gets ripped behind them, and it'll pull a piece of bone loose. Um, all these things can be taken care of in a clinical setting. It's important to see your orthopedic surgeon to get a definitive diagnosis. But once that's done, get to your local PT or athletic trainer, and they can take care of you. Thanks. Bye bye.